In 2015, a Reddit account was created under the name Skinna555. The same day it was created, the account uploaded a post titled, Took a Snapchat for my friends. Something is in the background that has me freaking out. The account looks to have been created solely for the purpose to upload the post, seeing that they were done on the same day. The post itself contains photos and videos taken on Snapchat, but first the user gives some backstory. He starts by clarifying how he and his partner had purchased a house that wasn't yet fully constructed. Needing somewhere to stay while that was being done, and wanting to save cash, they moved back into his childhood home with his parents for the time being. Now, his parents had three Australian native birds. Some of his friends knew this and were asking him to send videos of what they looked like, what their names were, etc. Instead of responding to everyone, he decided to post the birds on his Snapchat story. He took three videos, one after the other, for each of the three birds. These are those videos. So the first one of my parents' little birds is this little guy. It is little Leo. He's a cockatiel. The second little bird uh, of my parents is a rainbow lorikeet. His name is Oliver. And there he is. And here I am with my good little mate, Puffin. He posted these videos without worrying about any retakes or what they looked like. He didn't even really look over them before uploading them to his story. Fifteen minutes went by when he received a text message about the videos from one of his good, but not great friends. It read, You bearded beast, those birds are mad. By the way, what was that in the window behind you in the last one? Having no idea what he was talking about, he went back and rewatched the last video he posted. It wasn't until the third or fourth rewatch when he finally saw what his friend was talking about. Here I am, with my good little mate. Puffin. Over his shoulder in the back behind a screen door, it almost looks like someone looking in with their hands cupped against the door, like they're trying to better see inside. Although, considering the poor quality of the Snapchat video, it's hard to tell. But clearly something is there. A few people who saw the post tried giving the video different effects to try and enhance it. This only went on to further prove that something or someone was really there. One person tried isolating the figure, and this is what they came up with. And here I am, with my good little mate, Puffin. Digging deeper, a few people started to notice that the person must have just then showed up. In the first video, the same screen door is shown in the background, but no figure can be seen. In an edit to the post, the Redditor explains how the three videos were shot back to back, with maybe 10 seconds between each. This means that at some point in the few seconds between the filming of the first and third video, the figure goes up to the door. Something else of note is the Redditor was home alone at the time he had taken these videos. The door the figure is looking in from leads to the backyard, which is only accessible by a single gate that's kept locked. A few commenters pointed out that it could have simply been a reflection, but in another edit, the Redditor mentioned how there was no glass in front of the figure. The only thing between the backyard and the inside of the house was a fly screen sliding door, meaning there's almost no way it could have been a reflection. Included in the post were a couple follow-up videos to show this. So this is the door. And that's this, that's the screen. Perhaps one of the most disturbing parts of the Reddit post is where he explains exactly why the video freaks him out so much. When he was a kid living in the same house, he used to get episodes of sleep paralysis around once a month. He would wake up in the middle of the night completely paralyzed, with the sense that someone was in his bedroom with him, which is pretty common for those that get sleep paralysis. He recalls going to a child psychologist, which actually did help until roughly age 14 where the episodes started coming back. However, this time he would occasionally hear and see things, which again is common for people that get sleep paralysis. The things he heard was nothing more than thumps and creaks, but rather it was what he saw that he remembered. Very rarely he would see a man looking in his bedroom window holding up his hands to the glass, just like the figure in the video. 
This left him to wonder whether what he saw when he was a kid was his mind imagining it during sleep paralysis or an actual real person. For the next few days, the Skin of 555 Reddit account went silent. But shortly after came a follow-up post, this one containing more Snapchat videos. The Redditor starts the follow-up post by giving a summary of the last few days. He said he showed the video to his partner, and the both of them concluded that it really could have been anything. The video was too low quality to immediately assume that it was someone looking inside the house from the backyard. Realistically, it could have just been an animal for all they knew, like a deer. Even still, the Redditor explained that for the next few days he would always carry a fully charged, repurposed old phone to use as a camera if needed. Throughout those days, nothing happened except for the occasional outside motion sensor light turning on, which the Redditor admitted to not knowing if this was abnormal or if he was just being hypersensitive. Finally, a night would come where he would again be home alone. His parents were out for the night and his partner was out working. He was playing games on Steam with some friends. This went on for a couple hours, when around 10.15pm he started hearing relatively loud banging sounds, loud enough to be heard over the headset he had on. They were coming from outside the screen door, and he described them as sounding like something scraping or banging around on the back pavement. He slowly took off his headphones, and pulled out his phone to record as he searched the house. Immediately from the start of the video, the sounds he referenced can be heard. The only easy way to get in the backyard was down the left side of the house, so he proceeds to look out one of the windows that shows that side. Something loud then occurs from outside on the opposite end of the house near the kitchen window. He walks over there and turns on the kitchen light while filming out the window, but he doesn't see anything, so he stops recording. He mentions how he didn't call the police in that moment. With that, he posts the update. People immediately started making edits to the video, trying to see if it actually captured someone outside. Reddit user Abel Carbon made a reply to the post, claiming that the video didn't show someone outside the house, but that it did show someone inside the house. He made lighting edits to the very start of the video where the Redditor walks through the living room. He then compared this to the end of the video, showing the exact same spot in the living room. person is shown inside the house, and not only that, but they had to have been moving around it while the video was being filmed. They're in the corner of the living room at the start of the video, but not at the end. The Redditor responded to this comment almost immediately. I'm going to pack a bag and get us out of here now. I don't feel comfortable staying here. Just showed my partner she feels the same. We're both horrified. I'll update the post and go. I'll try to reply to comments on my phone. I'll come back tomorrow and get this for the police. The next morning, they returned to the house with police. They showed police the evidence, and they then searched the entire property. He then said this about what the police discovered. Nothing has been stolen from the house that we can see, and the birds are fine. The police don't want me talking too much about everything, not sure if Reddit counts, but they believe a two-man team tried to rob my parents while they were away. When one got in and realized I was home, his buddy tried to make noise to lure me outside, and when it didn't work, he slipped out. My problem with this theory is that all doors and windows were locked from the inside when they came. So how did these guys get in? The cops think maybe the one guy came in through the roof. 
This would mean that whoever slipped down behind me towards the end of my video had to slowly walk up the stairs to go into my parents' room and climb into my roof, all while I was right under them. I'm still freaking out. My first set of videos with this one is leaving me in tatters. He ended the post by saying how they would be staying at a friend's house for the rest of the week. The intruders were never identified by police. The only known footage of them is in these Snapchat videos. <laughs> 